Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create realistic particle animation so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes and sign up required to use or download Mixkit asset. Click the link in the description box to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition let's call it particle animation. And I am going with 90, 20, 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Now import our project files. You can download these project files from the link in the description box below. Now select our image. You can use uh, any image you want. Okay, now place it into this timeline. Now make it smaller. Now select this layer, then right click, then choose P Compose. Then select Mobile Attributes and rename it to Image. Then click on OK. Now again select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to emitter Then click on ok Now make this layer 3d by clicking here then turn off visibility of this layer Ok now create a black solid layer And rename it to particles particles 1 then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular particular is a third party plugin from red giant you can download a free trial version from link in the description box below now search for particular now select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer now go to emitter then emitter type set it layer and particle per second set it 1 triple zero double zero now emitter size z set it zero and set all this value to zero now go to layer emitter then layer set it our emitter layer perfect now go to particles and then size set it three and like uh, size random set it 50 and sphere feather set it 0 then go to size over life then click on preset then use this preset and then uh, go to uh, uh, opacity random set it 100 then go to opacity over life then click on preset and use this same preset Perfect. Now blend mode set it screen. Now go to environment, then wind X set it uh, 510. Then go to AR turbulence and effect position set it 100. Okay, now go to around 3 second 15 frames. then go to emitter 
then set a keyframe on vertical per second then go to around 5 second maybe 10 frames then particle per second amount set it 0 okay let's try and preview this looks good to me and now select this particle layer then press ctrl plus D uh, now rename this layer to particle 2 now select this particle 2 layer then press U on your keyboard now select this to keyframe and move it few frames uh, forward perfect now go to particles and then size set it to then go to environment and windex set it 0 and effect position set it 20 okay now go to around 6 second 15 frames then set a keyframe on windex then go to around 7 seconds 8 frames and windex amount set it 600 perfect now select this uh, particle one layer and drag this layer uh, around here Okay, now RAM preview this. Looks good to me. Now go to project window and select our image comp and place it between these two particle layer. Now select our matte layer and place it anywhere in this composition. Now turn off visibility of this layer. Now select our image layer then uh, change the track matte layer to our matte layer. And click here to change this to luma matte and click here to invert now ram preview this looks really nice to me perfect now create another composition by clicking here and rename it to main and for this time i am going with 15 second duration okay now select our particle animation comp and place it into this timeline now right click then go to time then click on enable time remapping now drag this layer around two seconds then extend the layer okay now press s then set a keyframe on scale and then go to end of this uh, layer and scale value set it one one zero. Now go to beginning of this animation and set it and press T. Then set a keyframe on opacity and opacity value set it zero. Then go to around one second sixteen frames and value set it hundred. Now select these two keyframe then press F nine. looks good to me now you can use your text here for now I am using this um, PNG text uh, which I have already made so 
place it into this timeline okay let's uh, which is the position you can find this file from project file link in the description box below looks good to me okay now animate this to text uh, layer okay now uh, go to beginning of this animation then select this to text layer then press uh, p on your keyboard then set a keyframe on position now select this to keyframe then drag it maybe three second around three second now select this um, first uh, text layer then change the position around here then select this second text layer and change the position something around here now go forward one second then again set a keyframe for both layers then again go to around uh, six seconds and then change the position once again now select all keyframes then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this okay let's add opacity so press T both uh, select both text and then press T now uh, set a keyframe on opacity then set it 0 then go forward few seconds then value set it 100 again go to uh, around 4 seconds then again set a keyframe for both layers and then go to around one second forward and set the value to zero now select all keyframes then press f9 okay let's uh, ramp view this perfect Okay, let's add a logo at the end. Let's make it smaller. Now go to around 10 seconds, then press T. Then set a keyframe on opacity, set it zero, then go forward around one seconds and then opacity value uh, set it 100 perfect now select our particle animation layer then go to effect and PC window and search for sharpen now sharpen amount set it 20 Okay, our animation is complete. Press 0 to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video till then. Peace out.